It's all about confidence. See, I'm very confident when I get. Uh, I think your left right thing is good just because you're living in the UK, so you no, know, you even drive on the wrong side. So. Never remember what's the left right. Up. Yes, and go back all the way to your cheek. In 2016, this capital received about 2.3 million visitors. The historical center of this city is not only beautiful, it's also in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Among its notable residents, we can list Sergei Eisenstein, the film director who was also the pioneer of the theory and practice of film montages and edition. In August of 1940, this country was forcibly incorporated to the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or the Soviet Union. It was the 15th constituent republic of the largest ever state in the world, the USSR. Almost one year later, this country was invaded and occupied by the Nazi Germany, reoccupied by the Soviets in 1944 to form the Latvian Soviet Socialist Republic for the next 50 years. In 1990, the country was renamed Republic of Latvia until 1991, when its independence was restored. But that's still not half of it. We're also here to check out the history of this capital. The capital of a country that has been occupied three times, twice by the Soviets and most by Nazi Germany. Let's get into it. Today we are in the largest city of the Baltic state and home to one third of Latvia's population. We are in Riga. If you're made of love, if you're made of travel, if you're made of sports, if you're made of arts, if you're made of sunny, beautiful days, if you are made of different cultures, if you're made of dreams, well, then come with us, because we're made of journeys. Starting our tour in Riga, we are in St. Peter's Church, which is uh, one of the oldest and most valuable monuments of the medieval architecture in the Baltic region. It's located within the historical center of the city. Uh, we already purchased our tickets to go up to the tower and to enjoy a breathtaking view of the city. We, I really hope and I'm quite sure it's going to be um, very much worth it.
Don't let me close the left eye. Left, other left. Oh. Yes. Oh, a with the corner, B to the right, bit more than you think. Another architectural treasure here in Riga is the House of the Blackheads, which was erected in the beginning of the 14th century as a guild for the unmarried German merchants. that we would like to share with you. Have you heard of a guy who wanted to be a hero for people all around the world? Well, this is that guy. His name was Roland. There are copies of his statues in Germany, Eastern Europe, the United States and even in Brazil. So I'll stretch your left, pull it all the way back to your right eye. <laughs> your elbow to my is right eye. To your right eye. Your elbow is raised with the same height as the arrow. Okay. We are now in front of Riga Central Market. When it was concluded in 1930, its structure was one of the most modern and the biggest marketplaces in Europe. The main structure of the market are those four pavilions and one more down the back here. And the curiosity about it is that they were constructed using um, German Zeppelin hangars from the World War II. The market is also included in the list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It receives about 100,000 visitors every day, according to some of Riga's tourist websites. This building that we're in now is the Latvian Academy of Science. It was built after the Second World War and between 1951 and 1961. Its architecture resembles a lot many other buildings built during the Soviet Union. German Nazi left behind cruel scars all over Europe. Riga wasn't an exception to that reality. On the 4th of July of 1941, hundreds of Jewish refugees from Lithuania and also local Latvian Jews were locked into the basement of a synagogue, which was then intentionally burned to the ground. The synagogue used to be here. After the war, the remains of the burned synagogue were then demolished and a memorial was erected here on the ground. We are now in Alberta Quarter, which is well known by its Art Nouveau style buildings. These apartment buildings were mostly designed by the Russian architect called Mikhail Eisenstein. once again at the end of one more video this time we were in Riga, Latvia we really hope you enjoyed our video please don't forget to subscribe and to give us your thumbs up if you liked it 
We're trying to deliver the best content we can. Also, find and follow us on our social medias. We're including the links down below. Um, it's going to be very important for us to be in touch with all of you. It's historical center, it's not only beautiful, it's also our world. The unmarried German Americans of the, the there. <laughs> In 2014, this capital was nominated the European capital of the culture. Finally demolished by the Soviets in, 19, in 1948. Yeah. We are now in a bird. Designed by the Russian architect called Mikhail Bad. To check out the history of this capital, of the country of. Uh. To form the Latvian Solstice. If you made of a nice little straw in the park. Find and follow us on all the social medias, we're including the links downstairs, downstairs. <laughs>